Welcome, everybody, to a brand new episode of The Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. And I'm Keith. And I'm back. And you're back. I and am. the rest of you are lucky because yes. you're back. I yes. am back. Welcome. Thank you. I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. You have to deal with Keith. No, he's back and we're excited. Um, Keith, how was it? Uh, Tell us about it. The trip was good. Hunting was... Slow, slow. It was really slow. But you know what? I met some You're the only person that's told me that this whole year. That the duck hunting in Arkansas is slow. Uh, no, I'm yes. not the only person. No, you're not. No, it's okay. It's been crazy. It was crazy. It was. It was a great time. I met some wonderful people and ate some great food. Our first night when we uh, rolled into this uh, little town. I'm not going to say where I was. You're not going to say where you were. We ate. Sure. We had 16 pounds of deep fat fried frog legs. Hush puppies, fries, pickles, and every kind of beverage you could think of. And I met some amazing people. Nice. Really amazing people. So a little southern hospitality there for you. A lot of southern hospitality. That's fantastic. And you sure you don't want to tell us like exactly where you were? I... Where I ate the frog legs? Sure. I was in Truman, Arkansas. There you go. Truman, Truman Arkansas. Arkansas. That was the question, really, that, that was... everybody had been guessing. Although some did kind of spoil it a little earlier yes, on. I, I think that was An- our friend Anthony kind of, uh, right yeah. off the bat, spilled the he whole thing. He kind of knew. But that's okay. We kind of kept people in suspense. You did send a lot of great pictures. That was fun. Yes, it was fun. Thank you for doing that. It was a great time. Um, but welcome back. Thanks. I guess we'll suffer through and uh, let you continue on as host. You've oh, not been replaced yet. I have not been replaced. Good. I'm glad I haven't been <laughs> Replaced yes. Um, besides that, what else has been happening? Not a whole lot. Not Just a whole every, lot. Hunting's winding down. It's over. Um, I mean, I guess I guess we we still got the goose hunt going on. Yes. Here, most of your duck hunting um, is pretty much over. Yeah, I think, I think everybody's Louisiana's pretty much done. Louisiana's the end of this week. Right. So it's it's it's, it's slowly coming to a head. You know, you can it's, tell. I, I can tell that the season is done because people are answering my emails a little quicker than they normally do. I'm pretty happy about that. That's good. I've, Jay Paul, that's you I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but that's good. That's really good. I, on the other hand, had a very interesting week. I had a couple of things go on this week that I have been dying to talk about and share with everybody because my life obviously is very important with every little detail. Um, no, this uh, I got out last week. I got out um, on the ice. Did a oh. little ice fishing. Which was exciting, because uh, this is my subtle hint to Travis, Travis. that we really have got really? to get out. <laughs> um, but it is fun. It is my favorite thing to do. I took my little dog, and we uh, hiked out on the ice in the middle of the night. It was awesome. I want to ride. I want to do the snow dog again. Like I, I know. Did last year. Well, we amazing. saw him, and Travis showed us those snow dogs yesterday or last week, and yes. they're like the best multi-purpose tool ever to the get fun- you anywhere. When the fishing's slow... The writing is amazing. The writing is amazing, exactly. <laughs> the only thing that was bad about the fish, this was what it was. Because it was, it was beautiful out there, right? I got there about 5 o'clock, the sun is setting, just in time to set up my little tent, get everything ready. It was so beautiful. But I was so exhausted by the time I got out there <laughs> that I was like, ah, oh, but it wasn't too bad, right? It, but it's the pack up. So it's time to go home. I open up the tent. That blast of cold air comes rushing out. But it's so, all the stars and everything. It's so beautiful out there. And then you spend the next half an hour trudging through a foot of snow or higher. And by the time I got back to the car, I was like, that was really relaxing up until the last hour. And then it was not so relaxing. Yeah, the, the packing up and getting yeah, that big was, tent into a one-pound bag is not fun. Right. By yourself, I was yes. all alone, which is kind of against the rules. But it was, it was still really fun. And I just wanted to relax. And fishing is so relaxing. I love it. But everything I had accomplished in the in that five hours of fishing, I lost in that last hour of. So and I'm out of shape, and I could, I was just like sick. I was like nauseous by the time I got back to the car. So that kind of ruined it just a little bit. But had I had a snow dog, oh you, man, you could have just buzzed in or out a slightly and... bigger dog that could actually pull the <laughs> carry his own weight maybe? <laughs> instead of riding in the actual sled. That would have been so. Uh, what'd you pull in? You know, I only got one. That's While I was none. there, I know I, uh, I'm not that great. That's what I'm kind of learning. I'm not that great of a fisherman, I don't think. But it was fun. It was a beautiful, uh, beautiful trout that I pulled in. Nice, nice big one. But it was a lot of fun. I did have a blast. Travis, um, Travis, Travis. So we do need to get out. Plus, you know, I'm always up for uh, ice fishing tips yes. for anybody out there. I can always use the help. I, I love it so much, but I'm not great. So uh, send me your your best uh, ice fishing tips. I'm always happy to get those. Um, the other thing that I have to tell you that I did, oh my gosh, I... Uh, you went redneck. I did. I For the first time in my life, I went to a monster truck rally. 
this last weekend, my uh, my nephew had a birthday, and he's like, we're going. And I'd always wanted to go as a kid. When I was little, I had several big monster truck toys, and they were amazing. And You're not so young I anymore. Fi- I'm not young anymore. And I finally went. And I have to tell you, it was one of the coolest cultural experiences I have ever had. <laughs> um, I've never seen anything like it. But there is something about the, that visceral noise and and the rumble of the whole seats is these giant, these trucks, they're big trucks, they're and they just fly. take off like that. It, there is something magical about it, and I grinned ear to ear for three hours solid and was deaf ever after and might have had a little carbon monoxide poisoning. Probably. At but the, the end. The, the rumble of the motor, oh, there's nothing so better awesome. than horsepower. You know, and there were a lot of mullets, which was really cool to see. <laughs> Going back to the 80s style? Some, yes, I needed to tear the <laughs> sleeves off of my flannel is really what I needed to do. It was really awesome. I'm so glad I went, but um, I would also love to hear anybody's uh, monster truck stories. We got any monster truck fans out there? I want to hear who your truck is and if you've had any crazy experiences, because uh, they're really, really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so Monster Truck Rally, that's, that was what I did. It was new for me, so I'm officially initiated into the world of Monster Trucks. Uh, Gravedigger being mine. That's Did who he's I, still around? Oh yeah. I when remember. I was a kid, it was Bigfoot. Yes. Bigfoot was the one, but I, I haven't seen anything about him, but Gravedigger's the big one, so he's, that's my truck now, my jam. I'm surprised he's still around. He was around 30 years ago <laughs> the first time I went. <laughs> you can't kill that truck. No. He's a can't. survivor. Got it. Okay, I think that's enough of... Oh, I do have one more thing. I've got to tell you all. That's very, very important. And I'm going to come even a little closer because this is so important. We are about to wrap up Season 2 Winter Edition. This duck hunting season has been really awesome. We've really loved everything that has happened. Um, but that's kind of... The seasons change, Keith. Seasons yes. change. Um, so we are beginning... Uh, our summer edition. Things are going to get really awesome. We're going to do some really, really fun things in the summer. But in the comments above, there is a link to a survey that we would love to hear from all of you. Um, It's got three questions on it, and it is, what time of day works best for you? What day of the week works best for you? And any other comments uh, or suggestions that you might have. If you could all please take a moment and answer those questions. We're going to try and make some decisions. I'm not saying we will change anything, but uh, we want to make things easiest for the most amount of people. So we're just thinking about you. So, you know, get on there and do it. Okay, good. So I will reiterate that in a little bit, but I really appreciate it, everybody. You're so great, and we want to keep doing this because we're, we're having a blast. I'm having fun. And uh, hopefully you are all too. So that's my pitch, my plea. I'm begging all of that. Okay? <sighs> So now what are we going to do? Take it away, Keith. I'm exhausted now after all that. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything oh else to say. No, nothing else to say. Let's get on. Let's, let's do it. I'm, I'm, wait, I'm looking forward to the challenge here. Oh, A boy. rematch. So tell us what happened last time. This was two weeks ago. So two weeks ago, yes. we did the uh, obstacle course challenge of installing a propeller on a mud motor. Right. Which we- I have been calling the 2019 prop-off. Prop-off? The okay. prop-off. The prop-off. The uh, <laughs> prop-off. We had some uh, disgruntled contestants oh, man. and viewers because uh, some of them did not follow the rules all the way as using the... Um, the anti-seize. The anti-seize. I couldn't remember what that was. Yes. And running the nut all the way onto the propeller. Right. So... So there were some questions. No, it was, it there was, was a lot of questions. There were a lot not of some. questions about who the actual winner is. So we've decided we're going to do a runoff yes. here. To see who the winner is. So we are back between Juan and Horacio. Yes. We are going to do a challenge. So I'm going to bring in our uh, contestants and we're going to get this uh, Let's started. Let's get it going. All right. Get it all. Come on, boys. Come on over here. All right. Yes. Uh, okay. It's Juan. I don't really care. <laughs> okay. So. I still got, so are we going to put that got, money? I, are we I putting still, the money down? Is this have, what we're really doing? We're doing five bucks. We're doing the five bucks. bucks. I okay. have you, you've got five. Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna make this interesting here. So today we're gonna do we're changing it just a little bit. So if you come closer, I'm gonna explain what we're gonna be doing today. So everybody, listen very very closely. We are gonna be doing one at a time, like last time. When the timer begins, when we say go, you are going to what do we what do you call install. fill install? That's what I'm looking for. You're going to install the spaghetti gasket all the way around. Completely all the way around in this. And it has to stay into its position. Yes. And not 
roll out like it does occasionally if right. you don't do it right. You must install it correctly. When that is done and all the way correct, Keith will say, yes, it is done correctly, and you will move on to the next section. You will then walk through the shop. We're walking and we're walking. Just kidding, do you remember that movie? Anyway, so we're gonna come this way. We're walking, no running, because that's against the rule. Oh no, somebody moved our oh, no. stuff. Oh crap. <laughs> so then you will come through the shop, out the paint <laughs> window. We set up a few little uh, obstacles there, but I'm not sure that anybody. Over the ice trap that I have specifically laid, then you may run from here. You will jump up through the door. You have to scramble through the door, run down the length of the uh, secondary shop here. Then you will grab the prop from the box where it is located, run all the way back into the shop. Once you hit the shop doors, you must walk, again, for safety reasons, all the way back to where the motors are placed. You will replace the prop on it, including the anti -seize. Um, with the nut all the way snug down into position. Keith is going to be our judge on that to make sure that it is done correctly. When that is done, we will hit the timer to stop and we will have our winner finally, uh, finally settled. Okay? So, we had set up a whole bunch of obstacles. I don't think we're going to have those back there. I might, I might go set those up, but they uh, I put brooms and everything in the way. It was oh. really exciting. And then uh, Kevin cleaned it all up for us. <laughs> Because he's a good guy. Um, all right, so let's get started. I don't have my. Where's your phone? It's upstairs. Okay. We need Anybody time. have a coin? You have my phone too. You can send. You don't have me. Siri on your phone. Oh, I don't have a coin now. Oh, she's got a coin. Okay, I've got Laura over there. Has oh here? No, we've got one right here. Got teeny weeny good <laughs> No, come on camera, Laura. All right, listen. <laughs> Horacio, you are the oldest. Yeah, Is that like true? 25 years, maybe. <laughs> Just 25 years. So you're bit. saying Horacio is old enough to be Juan's dad? I am going to say that, yes. Okay. <laughs> and so am I. <laughs> this is a regular dime. I mean, this, is like the, this is like the Super Bowl coming up next week. Yeah, it'll be very clear. Horacio, call it heads or tails. Whoever wins gets to decide who goes first. Okay, you get to decide who goes first. Heads or tails? Uh, face. Oh. Tails. Tails. All right, you get to choose who goes first. Are you going first, or are you going to defer and let Horacio go I'll first? I'll let him go first. Okay. All right, you're going now, first. You went over the rules. I did. You have to put anti seize on all six sides of the hex. All six sides. You have to put the prop on, and you have to bottom the nut out onto the prop. Yes. No threads left in between the propeller. And the nut has to be and, down. And Keith decides whether your spaghetti gasket is installed correctly. And if it rolls or pops out, guys, I'm going to make you do it again. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's the timer. Oh, we got the timer there. Oh. Who's, oh, Horacio's okay. up first. Then Horacio is up first. Uh, put the gasket, the spaghetti. Spaghetti then gasket here. Walking through the, uh, walking through the shop, out the door, up through the thing. Just Yes, you can run once you're in the parking lot. Down, grab the prop. There are two of them already in the box, unboxed. They're just sitting loose in the box. Grab that. It's the, uh, it's the big blade. Grab a big blade, bring it back, and you'll install it right there. So they have to remove this one first and put the new one on. Sorry, yes. Lance, And put the new one back on. That's correct. Okay. Okay. And Horacio, okay. you're up first. Horacio, you are up first. <laughs> okay. Oh man! You tell me when you're no ready. I will hit the. Yet. I will tell you. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, go. And he's up on the thing, and he's putting it in, and he's got it all really in there good. And he's hey, don't speak. Running fast, and he's getting nervous about it. <laughs> talk, talk. Clock is ticking. Yeah, blue one is here. Oh, Juan. <laughs> what? Don't do that. So installing that gasket isn't as easy as you think to uh, get it to uh, roll around through the corners. Or else you back up here again. Again? Yes. Mm. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so there's a trick to pulling it, just stretching it just enough 
or if you stretch it too much, it'll spring back and then it yeah, rolls out of the groove. Happened. And what happens if it rolls out of the groove? If it's up above, it's fine. But down in the lower part, if it's not in the groove properly, it'll roll like out and then it doesn't seat up against the drive when we install the drive. Right. But we also use silicone on the lower part of the drive with the spaghetti gasket. So kind of a two for one there on the lower end. But the upper end, you really don't have to worry about it as much, but we're going to make okay. sure no, I get to it's in the... In the group. And I, I did this a little while ago uh -huh. just to try to re see if I could still do it. I could still do it, but I forgot how hard it is on your thumb. Your thumb gets kind of a callus. <laughs> Whatever. I do it all the time. I'm sure I could do it just as fast. Okay. We're going to see how Not fast you problem. can do well, it. Ten minutes here. Oh. <laughs> no, we're all about right. a minute he's 40. He's almost ready. He's almost ready. Does everything look good? Okay, kids, ready? Okay, everything looks good. Go. Go. Time. Ooh, nice job. Three minutes, one point one one seconds. All right. Okay. All right. Let's reset. All right. Juan, how are you feeling? Pumped. You feeling pumped? You think you can do it? You've got three oh, minutes. Yeah. All you got to do is three minutes for the win. One minute and a half. Bragging rights. <laughs> you really got one minute. And a half. Don't get too confident, Juan. <laughs> All right. Okay, you got the timer ready? I am ready. In three, two, one, go! This is actually, I think, the hardest part of the challenge is trying to keep that little rubber spaghetti gasket in the groove. Once you've got that done, the rest of it is just how fast can you run and how fast can you get that prop on and off. This is the little tricky part, going around all the little bolt holes. Juan's done this before a few times. Horacio, I don't think you've done come it quite on, as... Come on, Juan. Yeah, he hasn't done it quite as many round. times as Juan. Go, 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 go. All right, all right. Coming around the last corner here. He's coming around the left end. And... Oh, you don't have to rub cutting it. We're gonna go. go. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Ah, <laughs> oh, run! He ran in the paint shop just to the I think my job sucks. Listen to the prop out of the box. Sorry. Walk, 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 walk. They put down an extra tight for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. What is it? You ready? I'm ready. How much money do you owe me? I don't know how much money do I owe you. Two oh! minutes, 15 seconds. Point five two. Oh, so, you did it. One is up, our baby. winner. Come on in here, guys. <laughs> oh. I need practice with the spaghetti. You need practice with the spaghetti. Yeah. I know. I, I know. I was like, no, let's not do it because my guy's not ready. But <laughs> You're the one that threw the spaghetti gas I challenge know. I know. You I, handicapped I, him. I, I, I knew did. Juan was... had the spaghetti gas because... He's done it multiple times, and Horacio's yes. done it a few times, not near as many as one. Well, so. <laughs> it was a fun challenge anyway. I, all right, I owe. All Yo. right, thank you guys so much. Right. Thank you. Juan, you're the winner. You're going to get you some stuff. No, Everybody, I big congrats. I need another one. <laughs> big, congrats, big congrats to uh, Juan, our official prop-off winner. Yes. Uh, the big 2019, right there. Awesome. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, that question is settled here and forever. 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 Until next year. Until, Until 2020. Next... And then I think we'll get some... Well, I think the next time we'll have some office staff do some stuff. No, oh, that's an interesting idea. That would be see, who see if can, we can get them who can to answer the phone faster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need them to come out and see if they can put that spaghetti gasket on. You know, it's not as easy as it looks. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? I know so. I uh, no, I think there's. I think that's a. I think it's a big challenge. It right? That's that's good. Good for them. You handicapped Horacio when you threw. You know, that in there. I. Uh, you're right. I you wasn't did. really thinking that. I honestly uh, thought it would be easier. I thought it'd be a quick little. No. We had to have you try it. Right here, right now. Nah, yeah. nobody wants to see that. Come on, guys. Although, if you want to see you Jeffrey seeing, what kind try of to install. I'm not seeing hardly any. No, I have not had anything coming in either. I just want to make sure comments? that that's... Come no, on, I don't have any comments. So like all of share. you out there, do like and share. Absolutely. Yes. Good job. Like and share. Yes. I'm doing my job. You're doing your job. I really Without appreciate being... that. Um, but now, uh, send us your questions, as usual, because Keith... I know it's, it's a letdown. It's a letdown from, uh, from, from Travis. Travis, but... Uh, um, everybody's been uh, there. Everybody's feeling bad. We did not include like a like a prop cover as part of the 2019 prop off. The prop off. So um, we don't. I just, I, we don't make them. We don't we have don't, them no. here. So um, uh, let me see what I can do if I can work some magic because I don't have. I, I have nothing to do. I'm just sitting around, oh, okay. not trying to get all of this extra gear out so I can take some time to find. Backwater Performance just... System sells <laughs> the prop cover. They really he's, do. He's busy editing some of the film of running through the timber. That is right. In a in a motor no. that just run yeah. like none other I've been in. That is that is true. That's some great footage that you got. But I am going to look at that because that was a good idea. So I might uh, you know try and work my magic with some of the folks over at BPS and see what's going on. Um, awesome. So I'm going to end it right here. Uh, thank you, everybody, much. Everybody, much? Everybody. Everybody so, <laughs> so much, much for tuning in. Um, we've had a really great time. For those of you who just tuned in, we did have the runoff competition between Ron and Horacio uh, for the 2019 prop off. And the big winner was. One. One. Show me your money. <laughs> and I did just lose five bucks. So we're going to get in trouble for gambling. What it really is. It wasn't gambling. It's was just it's a friendly gambling. wager. Friendly wager. If yes. you want to go gambling, I recommend the dog track right there on the border of Memphis, Tennessee, and Arkansas. There's a nice dog track there. Fantastic. Yes, it was fun. Very good. Yes. On that note, the last thing I have to say, there is another link down at the bottom of the description for a survey. I've got three questions that I would love for you to answer. We are going to be uh, changing possibly changing things up for the summer edition of the Shallow Water Adventures as we move into the warm weather. Um, so the questions are, what time of day works best for you and what day of the week works best for you? We want to try and accommodate as many people as we can. Uh, so go on, please answer those questions. You'd be doing us a huge favor. Until then, thank you so much for watching. We're going to be right back here next week. Same bad time, same bad channel, uh, right here in the Shallow Water. Bye, everybody.